In recent videos, we have spoken about tax planning and which are the steps that when someone becomes resident in Spain should be taken in order to make correctly the declarations accordingly to income tax or wealth tax or an informative declaration. Today, we are going to focus on this informative declaration when someone is resident or has become recently resident and has assets or shares or rights abroad in Spain, yeah? assets, uh, property, shares. I will be explaining specifically about that um, in a few minutes. So those who have become resident or recently resident in Spain, um, uh, this video is going to be very helpful because it will help them to understand if they have the obligation to declare assets or not as an informative declaration. But before I start an entry deeply on, the, on this informative declaration, this Modelo 720, it's Form 720, I would like to explain a little bit more about when this tax obligation comes if you became resident, uh, for example, last year in 2021. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's put like this line is representing a year. Well, it's not exactly a line, but okay, let's do this is 2020 and this is the year 2021. And then we are going to say also this is 2022. This line represents from the beginning this first of January and at the end the 31st of December. In Spain the natural year or the tax year is a uh, natural year is from the 1st of January to the 31st of December. Okay and if someone became resident during this year in 2020 in any date whatever date Obviously, during this year, 2022, was resident in Spain all the year. And if you have been living in Spain more than 183 days, this is one of the standard rules that we, we have according to um, tax um, rules according to residency. If you've been living more than 183 days in Spain, then you, be, you are tax resident in Spain during this year. So the following year, in, in this case, will be a year where you will have to make some declarations, which I will uh, duly explain. I will, I will repeat again in order to be understood. If someone becomes resident, let's say, at the first period of time of the first semester, from the 1st of January to the 30th of June, this year, 2020 will be tax resident. So this year will be the first year that will be tax resident in Spain. So obligation will come for 2020 and will be income tax, will be wealth tax also. And today we are focus, focusing on informative declaration about the assets abroad. And the obligation to make this informative declaration is from the 1st of January to the 31st of March and it's called Modelo 720. Hmm? Okay, so if someone became resident on the first semester of 2020 has to, did, had to make this Modelo a large year in this period of time. If did become resident in the second semester of 2020, this year 2020 was not tax resident in Spain, this was non-resident in Spain. And this year was the first year that was tax resident in Spain. And the obligation to make an informative declaration on this specific uh, form, it comes the following year, uh, in 2022, from the 1st of January, to the 31st of March. What we are right now, we are right now we are in this period uh, and mid-January where uh, at this time is um, uh, an obligation for those who have this year 2021 as a residency and been, have been 
more than one 80 days in Spain, we have obligation to declare those assets that are abroad which are over 50,000 euros. Okay? Obviously, apart from this information, that about, about, uh, apart from this form, we have to be declared income tax declaration. In, in, it starts in really in April, well, let's say May, June, of your worldwide income from the period the year before, from the 1st of January to the 31st of December. Worldwide income you have to declare and pay accordingly to the double taxation treaties um, between Spain and your home country. <clears throat> so, if you are tax resident in 2021, the following year, this year, 2022, first thing you need to do is Modelo 720 and the first quarter. And in May, June, tax return, which is the income tax, and also, in case, also wealth tax, okay? During this time, obviously, there is, should be made some uh, applications forms in order to um, inform your tax office in home country, also tax office in Spain, that you are resident in Spain in order to uh, inform that your residency has been moved and your tax residency has been moved, and obviously in order to uh, eliminate any uh, deduction that you may be incurring your home country. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, um, this is um, what um, the obligations start when someone becomes resident. This is, this is why I started at the beginning. If you are resident or you have been recently resident in Spain, in in order to to well to now when the obligation starts. Okay, um, so let's. Um, um, put the scenario, obviously, that someone has the obligation in, to declare the, this informative declaration, this Form 720 in Spain um, from the 1st of uh, January to the 31st of December because was last year in 2021 tax resident or maybe before and uh, well just now is, uh, could be also any time uh, to submit the Modelo 720. But let's put the example that someone started to be a tax resident in 2021. Okay, so right now the period of time in order to submit it would be 1st of January to 31st of December. And now let's explain briefly what would be the information that needs to be included in this form in order to submit correctly this, this, this obligation. So let's divide this information formative declaration in through, into three pillars, into three blocks. Mm? So the first block will be included uh, bank accounts. Mm? Let's put it here as bank account, which uh, any bank account that you have abroad, adding all together, it is more than 50,000 euros, will put you in, obliga in the obligation to declare and include those information of all the banks, all the bank accounts into this informative declaration. But, and it's been said and asked many times, what if I have bank accounts jointly? I just have, for example, 50% of the bank account and 50% of bank accounts or adding all together, it is not more than 50,000 euros. But if we include all the amount, 100% into, um, into the sale calculation will be more than 50,000 euros, then you will have the obligation to uh, declare. Let's put an example. If someone has 50% of uh, three bank accounts and all together is 45,000 euros, jointly with a marriage with a wife or husband, but all together, all those three accounts together is 90,000 euros. The question is, do I have to make this form and inform these three, three bank accounts into this informative declaration? Yes. And you will have to inform that in all these accounts is this amount, 90,000 euros. And then you will include in one of the data that you own 50% of those bank accounts, okay? So for the ones that is not over 50,000 euros, but in total it is, eh, will have to be included. And at the end, you will inform which is the percentage of your ownership or your right on that account uh, or authorized to as an ownership in that account. Okay, this is the first pillar. 
And the second pillar, it covers um, shares, investment funds, um, for example, Roth IRA, um, life insurance, and uh, no, it's included pensions. It's not included mm, just because at the end, if you don't have a right to withdraw a uh, lump sum of, uh, of that pension, that is not, uh, do not have to be included. A pension is a right that a person has uh, in order to receive some income because of uh, retirement, uh, widow, or, or fund, and uh, this not, shouldn't be included as an asset. It's, a, it's a, an income that you receive uh, an, as a right. Mm. So retirement is not included, but shares, investment funds uh, like Roth IRA, as you have access to that money, life insurance, where you are able to have a lump sum anytime, that will have to be included. Mm. What is the value that you need to include? I didn't say that before, but at the end you need to say the bank account needs to be included. What is the value on the 31st of December and the average rate of the last quarter? Mm. So uh, um, uh, the average rate of uh, October, November, December mm, of the previous year will be obviously for the year 2021, the last three months, an average rate, and also the information on the last day, on the 31st of December. Mm. Okay, and this second pillar, if you comply and you have, in this case, this example, more than 50,000 euros, then you have the obligation to Declare. If not, if it's less than 50,000 euros, first step, you don't have the obligation to declare. But let's go to the second pillar. Mm? Uh, whoever has a, um, a value on the 31st of December of these kind of products, mm? obviously I recommend, if uh, sometimes it's complex to understand, sometimes it's complex to uh, give a, a rapid answer if it should be included or not, obviously this needs to be checked by your advisor. Mm? Okay, but uh, pension is something that is always asked and uh, shouldn't be included unless you have a right to, um, to a lump sum to have access to that pension in order to mature the pension plan. Mm. Okay, and the third block, the third pillar, which is uh, property. Let's include here the word property or real estate. Let's say real estate mm. for those properties that you own in 2021 in this case will have to be included. The value will be that acquisition value uh, whenever you uh, bought it, whenever you acquired, whenever you inherit it. And if you have, uh, you are beneficiary, for example, also of an inheritance that still has not been accepted, also should be included in uh, uh, Modelo 720 in Form 720. Mm? This is important. At the end, this Form 720, which is declared in this period of time of the year, is connected with the tax return mm, whenever you declare your worldwide income in Spain. It doesn't mean, obviously, with the 720 that you are going to pay taxes. It means that you just inform about your assets abroad, which are over 50,000 euros in each pillar. So this pillar, for example, needs to be more than 50,000 euros. This pillar needs to be more than 50,000 euros. And this pillar, the acquisition price, this needs to be more than 50,000 euros. If this one is not, then it will not be included. It will be included this one and this one. If this one is not, and so on. Mm? So if altogether is 51,000 euros, for example, will not have to be included, okay? More things, and uh, recently we have, uh, obviously in some way this very critical form, the 720, because of the fines. Mm? And this has been a long uh, time ago, many, many years ago, it's been um, the claim uh, in Spain uh, under the Court of Justice and also the European Union Courts. At this time, it's in the Luxembourg Court and the European Union Courts in order to, and we, I mean, recently it's gonna happen, a resolution what we'll say about fines. I will explain the fines briefly and um, in order just to, to understand why this uh, form is very critical and I think it's very disproportional, absolutely disproportional and should be eliminated. Um, at least the fines that are included here. Mm? 
Okay, um, if someone do not declare this uh, form, there are two options. One of them is just, well, I didn't do it before, even though I had obligation to do it in 2015, 16, 17, because I, I started become resident those years. Could be done now, anytime, and will be a fine that could be 100 euros per data with a minimum of 1,500 euros fine. But this is a voluntary declaration. If you realize now, because you didn't know it, that you had to, that you should have done it, and you do it now, voluntary, without any requirement by the tax office, then will be these fines. But could happen that tax office starts or requires you to inform about those assets that are abroad. And I have to say that 1,500 euros is a big fine, but if the tax office requires you, will be 5,000 euros per data with a minimum of 10,000 euros. This is extremely disproportional, and I hope that the Luxembourg court eliminate this um, on all, um, an awful uh, situation by someone which is, is receiving a requirement by tax office because they didn't inform about those assets in, in abroad. At the end, the, 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 this form is focused in order you to declare if you had income in your tax declaration in, in, in between April and June. Okay? So this, this fine um, is, is, is not just that, but also apart from that, it covers 100% fine and will be included those assets as an income um, without any prescription. This means that those assets that you have will be included as an income and tax return and also will be fine uh, over 150% which in many occasions is more than the the sole asset. Okay, but well, let's hope that the, the court, the European court, eliminates uh, this disproportional situation about these fines. Okay, and um, also we have some questions regarding should I include a ship, should, should a boat, should I include an art? So what needs to be included in this form is just this, bank accounts, investments, shares, uh, uh, Roth IRA, life insurance, those pensions that are to you, that you have access to get a lump sum of money, and uh, bonds, ISA, and properties that you have abroad. Obviously, if your property is rented, once you inform about your property, and you have to inform about the income that you get about the property, according to the double taxation treaty. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, apart from that, I think it's more or less in a briefly explanation uh, about the model of 720. If you have more questions, please contact us anytime. Thank you.